Some are calling this the largest intelligence leak of the decade. Classified U.S. intelligence on the war in Ukraine, including highly sensitive information on the war effort, has been exposed. As the U.S. tries to control the damage, it's preparing for more documents to possibly drop. White House correspondent Allison Harris is here. And Allison, some of the information contains details on a spring counteroffensive against Russia. Yeah, that's right, Mitch. This is very significant. The White House, the Defense Department, and even the Justice Department all really scrambling to respond here and not saying much about this leaked information. The question that remains this morning, how did U.S. secrets and U.S. intelligence reportedly, uh, including intelligence on the war effort in Ukraine, get out and get posted to social media, on Discord, on Telegram, on Twitter? Uh, the DOJ now investigating, and the Pentagon is assessing the impact of this leak. At the, as the spokesperson for the National Security Council says, he's not sure if more leaks are coming. We don't know uh, who's responsible for this, and we don't know if uh, they have more that the, they, they intend uh, to post. So we're watching this and monitoring it as best we can. But the truth and the honest answer to your question is we don't know. And is that a matter of concern to us? You're darn right it is. We now know that President Biden was briefed on this late last week. The Pentagon and the White House still not saying whether the documents are in fact real, not saying that outright. They do reportedly involve maps and even satellite images exposing uh, from February and March that Ukraine had a shortage of air munitions as well as intelligence on key U.S. allies, Israel and South Korea. Even a reported revelation that Egypt has secretly been sending shipments of thousands of rockets to Russia. Egyptian President el-Sisi reportedly instructing officials to keep it quiet to avoid problems with the West. A senior defense official saying this. These photos appear to show documents similar in format to those used to provide daily updates to our senior leaders on Ukraine and Russia related operations, as well as other intelligence updates. Now, that senior defense official did not say how many intelligence officials would have had access to these documents and also would not confirm whether there are roughly 100 pages as reported. Intelligence officials, Mitch, are also saying that this is significant because the information is just so recent and reported to be from as soon as about 40 days ago. Wow, 40 days. Okay, Allison, thank you for that. I'm so thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.